today we're going to get into something a little bit controversial. We're going to take off the rooftop tent in favor of a ground tent. You can see we got some additions to the family. Some We got three pit bulls. We got Emily. We're planning on going on a trip actually tomorrow. And it's safe to say all these dogs plus us aren't going to fit up there. The Tough Stuff tent has been an amazing tent, but all of us can't fit up there. Um, and also having a tent on the rack kind of defeats the purpose of having a rack up there. So we are going to take off our rooftop tent in favor of a ground tent and tell you the reasons why. Um, running out of time, so let's pull the truck into position, open up the tent, close the tent so you can see how long that takes, and then uh, take her off. Hopefully I can get that in before I start work. So let's get right into it. One of the first reasons why we'll be switching to a regular tent and not this rooftop tent is because speed. Um, rooftop tents stay on the top of the rig. They go with you everywhere. If you want to set up the tent, you really got to stop, level out the truck, figure out where you're going to go, open up the straps, open up the tent, pull up open the poles, make sure the bedding's all good, and then get in your tent and then go to bed. And hopefully the truck is level. Uh, that's one of the main reasons and to show you how long it actually takes to set up a rooftop tent we're going to do that right now and then once we get to our campsite tomorrow or even later today we'll set up a regular tent to compare the time um, i'll be going normal speed i'm not trying to win a marathon here um, and you can see it so let's get that into it now okay ready three two one go Okay, that's pretty much open. How long did that take? Three minutes. Okay, three minutes, two seconds. It's around three minutes to open this up. We still have other things to do, like put the poles up, put all the Velcro up, put all the things. That's three minutes. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little winded, but that's okay. I mean, three minutes is pretty fast to set up a tent. Now, here's the hard part, putting the tent away. How long do you think it's gonna take? Any bets? How long Me? do you think, Emily? 10 minutes. No, 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 yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to put it away? Yeah. Oh boy, if it takes 10 minutes to put this tent away, oh, we're never buying a rooftop tent. Oh, okay. I'm gonna guess, not rushing, and we didn't even actually like assemble this, right? So I'm guessing six or seven minutes. Okay. We didn't show you off camera, but we tried to fit three dogs in there, and they actually fit. We're carrying three and of him up that ladder. I think they're like 65 pounds each, it's like this. I'm tired. But anyway, uh, let's get to it, shall we? I got eight minutes before work. I hope I can get this done. Ready? Yeah. And go. Done. Done. What was the time? Whoops. What was the it's time? It's locked. So minus 30 seconds. Seven so, minutes. No, You're I think 7.32. 7.32? Okay, I'm sweating. <laughs> it took seven and a half <laughs> minutes. There you go. It took seven and a half minutes to close that tent. 7.32. Now let's go do two regular tents and see how much faster that is. Okay, now we're going to compare the time of set up and put away to a regular three-person tent. Let's see if we do a much better time. 
All right, ready, set, go. Okay, it's a brand new tent. I've never used this tent before. I don't know how to do anything here, but let's get a nice knot. I don't think I'm gonna beat the three minute mark, but we'll see. Seven twenty-five more, like seven seven minutes. Okay. Well, I've never said that before. That was fast. That was fast. Yeah. Okay, time to take it down. You ready to start the timer? Yeah. Is it clear? It's clear. Go. Go. I don't remember how any of this stuff goes. Uh, what's the time? Eight and a half. Oh man, I forgot this damn steak. <laughs> All right, so we just unpacked and packed this up. Obviously I did the rooftop tent much faster. This pack's much smaller. Uh, I think we're gonna remove the rooftop tent anyway. I don't know, it's my first time doing this. I'm gonna get better. We'll probably have a system by the time we do it. I've had that rooftop tent for three years, so like if I can't close up a rooftop tent in eight minutes in three years, my first time literally just came out of the box. You can tell I suck at wrapping it, but I think the space gained by removing the rooftop tent from the rack and using this will be totally worth it. And finally, for our main test, we got our hands on a Shift Pod 2. Now this is a little over the top for the average camper, but uh, for us, we have three dogs in the mix. You can see Emily's feeding them now. Uh, we have our GX and we need a lot of space. And so we want to show you how fast you can take down and put up the new Shift Pod 2. Okay, time to set it up. Emily, you got the timer? Yep. Ready, set, Ready? go! Okay, where are we at? Oh, one, oh, 155. 155, two minutes. Two minutes. Uh, you saw us set up the shift pod. Uh, there's a floor to be zipped in or zipped out. That's at your discretion. There's a pole in the middle, depending on how bad of the weather it is. You can see it's very windy out here. The shift pod's holding steady in the wind. You don't get any flapping noises inside it. It's fantastic. Oh man, very windy. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tear it down. Okay. Oh, there you go. Ready, set, go. There we go.
five minutes and 47 seconds. Five forty-seven. Okay. The cool thing about the shift pod is it's super, super rugged. Uh, we had about 20 mile an hour winds last night. If you've ever been to Alabama Hills, you know Alabama Hills is super windy. And uh, we had 20 mile an hour winds last night. And the best part about this thing, the best part is, if you can hear it, there's no, there's no flapping things. Like the like wind is going right now. There's no flaps in the wind going all night long. I used to have a rooftop tent on that thing and uh, camped in the wind in Alabama Spills in this very spot. And I couldn't sleep a wink because the truck was swaying and the wind was flapping. But look, it's gusting right now. Here, let me give you, see that? It's gusting. There's no noise. The only noise you hear are the dogs eating. Here, you can hear the wind inside the shift pod. Dark, look at that. It keeps it nice and regulated in there. So. Um, we're gonna set up the shift pod, so how we camp it, and I'll show you inside. Uh, we're switching from rooftop tent to a ground tent. And I think we're gonna stick with the shift pod because this thing is awesome. Um, some more details on the shift pod too. This is a very large tent. It weighs about 70 pounds. We pack it on the top of our roof rack there. Um, highly recommend you putting it on a roof rack or in the bed of your truck. Don't try and put it in your, in your rig or don't try and put it in your car. It's just too big, but uh, the good thing is the Rhino Rack has uh, slots that we've secured it to. We drove 300 miles here, didn't move an inch, and uh, we really are loving the shift pod so much. Highly, highly recommend. It's got some cool ports. It's got some cool things like it's got a vent port here that's covered from the rain. It rained a lot last night, you can see. Totally dry. Uh, it's got like portal windows here that also have uh, a little breather holes here. This is to open and close the tent and tie it down. You can see we have our tie downs on. You also have a pocket back here that allows you to port in a diesel heater or power, you even have a power line there. Um, we're not gonna uh, run power into our tent because uh, of the weather. We're gonna run our battery box inside the tent. You can see I tied it down. This tent's not going anywhere uh, here too. We have a nice little spot here in Alabama Hills. Again, there is a, usually a lot of wind in Alabama Hills and the shift pod, honestly, I, I, can't, I can't ask for a better tent. This is, or shelter, uh, this is amazing. But let's take you inside and show you um, why we love it so much. All right, we are back home from our trip at Alabama Hills. Uh, you've made it this far into the video, so I might as well hit you with all my reasons of why we're switching from a rooftop tent to a ground tent, and particularly stuck on the shift pod. First of all, space. Now that we have the rooftop tent off the rack, we can store things on top of the rack, like water for the trip, uh, our Plano box filled with all of our gear. Um, the shift pod ends up going in this spot right here and so we can actually use the rack so that's massive number two gas mileage um, when we had the rooftop temp on there i was averaging around 12 to 13 miles per gallon depending on where i was going and on the way home from mammoth we had 15.8 average mile per gallon on a lifted gx470 on 34 inch tires with all loaded up that's huge that's massive 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 uh, number three, the speed. You saw us set up and take down the shift pod faster than a ground tent and the rooftop tent. That's huge. I know a lot of you probably have your own system with your own ground tent. That was a new ground tent for me, so it did take longer than normal. But the speed, we can get in and out of camp fast. Um, so we got, we got the space, we got the gas mileage, we got the speed, and now we're gonna talk about price. The shift pod is, pretty expensive it's about a thousand bucks for the shift pod 2 you can get the shift pod mini a lot cheaper and uh, for us to get a rooftop tent that doesn't flap in the wind 
that is slim on the car, that is light, and then to pack small, first of all, that's kind of impossible. We're looking at three or four thousand dollars at least. Shift Pod actually is a really good bang for the buck shelter. Again, no flapping in the wind, really easy to set up, great in all conditions. So, speed, price, gas mileage, and space are our main reasons of why we're switching from here to shift to moving over to the shift pod and we couldn't be more excited in fact we are really excited to bring you more shift pod content there are smaller ones that are coming out there are lighter ones that are coming out um, if you're interested in the shift pod drop us a comment and we'll answer all the questions that you have um, that's why we make these videos for people like you to ask the questions that you need to ask um, but another big point here is everyone builds their overland rig according to how they need it right so if you just want to try out a rooftop tent on your rig go ahead try it out for us that's not going to work anymore we just have too many animals and we need too much space and so for people like us or if you just like sleeping on the ground um, again overlanding is all about how you want to do it you can see we have a new rear tire carrier in the mix here we'll get into that later but Build the rig how you want to build it. Camp how you want to camp it. Don't really follow the, the path of how everybody does their things. We love our shift pod and it's perfect for us. And if you have any questions about how it could be perfect for you, drop us a line, drop us a comment, and we will get to them. Until next time, we'll see you guys out on the trail.